women's 5,000 metre final. What a night. This is our last individual final on the penultimate evening. Kloster Halfen, European indoor silver medalist twice, world junior bronze medalist a couple of years ago. She's the fourth fastest in the world this year. Puria, the United States. Tanaka, world junior champion last year. Laura Waitman experimenting with the 5,000 and doing well to make the final. Dominic Scott, ninth in the world indoor. Schweitzer running well. Tessé Gemachu, African Games champion over 10,000 metres. And this is the sixth fastest woman in the world this year, Margaret Kip Kemboy, Commonwealth silver medalist last year, was fifth two years ago. This is Fantu Werku, sixth in the world indoors, over 3,000 metres. What can they do to deny the defending champion? Elise McColgan, in the form of her life, she'll need a big PB, surely, to challenge the favourite, Helena Beery. Former world indoor champion, reigning world champion, on the track over 5,000 metres and won the cross-country gold in fine style in Aarhus back in March. The best in the world going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the women's 5,000 metre title. A great race in prospect here. Obiri the favourite. What tactics will be employed by the rest to try and put this brilliant Kenyan in some bother? She ended up fifth in the 10,000 metres. Maybe a little bit of fatigue will be in her legs. And that's a good decision by Ailish McColgan to take it on here and try and make this an honest pace. Yeah, well, Ailish isn't a natural front runner, but I'm sure when she's seen quite a lot of the rounds and some of the other events, she knows there's been a lot of tussling, there's been a lot of pushing, a lot of tripping, and maybe she just thinks, you know, if that's how the race started, she'll just put herself out there at the front. Ailish's mother, Liz McColgan, she was the Commonwealth Games 10,000 metre champion, and she's won medals at World Championship level herself. Liz actually lives out here in Doha, and Ailish trains here quite often, so she'll be really familiar with this stadium. And Helen Obiri, she's just put herself there side by side with Ailish. Obiri, of course, the defending champion. She's won world titles indoors and outdoors, as well as that cross country title back in March now on the fantastic course back in Aarhus. Everyone enjoyed that competition, of course. But real contrast in running styles there between Ailish McColgan and Helen O'Beary. Ailish McColgan, of course, a much taller figure. Helen O'Beary shorter, more floaty. And at this moment, the rest of the field are just enjoying getting a ride, just letting a few laps tick off, the nerves settle, with 11 laps to go. McColgan has had a good year. quite yet up to her mother's standards over the 10 but she's had a different tactic to her training and she's forcing herself to take her rest days and it's paying off Britain leading on the inside Constance Klosterhalfen is after a slice of history here and this event began in the World Championship in 1983 but in the shorter format the 3,000 metres the 5,000 has been run since 1995 and in that time no German woman has ever won a World Championship medal. How good do you think Klosterhalfen's chances are? She's in the pack and Obiri now leads. She's a tiny figure, the German woman, on the left of screen now, but she's proved to be so fast and so tough throughout this year. She's got a chance, hasn't she, of the podium? She has got a chance, and she trains out in the US with Sifan Hassan, and we've already seen what she's brought to this. She's the German record holder now of the 3,000 and the 5,000 metres, and she's run a sub four minutes for the 1,500 metres as well. Obiri leads. McColgan on the inside. That's the view looking down at the 1,500 metre start, and that's been the familiar place for the Kenyans and the Ethiopians and Ugandans 
in the stadium. We've had a whole array of East African nations giving their support here, their expatriated countrymen and women who are working here in Qatar, have turned out in great numbers, and the Ethiopian carnival is going on right now. I can see the flags waving, there's dancing going on in the stands. They're absolutely enthralled by this great race unfolding. Jenny, do you think fatigue might be a factor for Obiri? She's very inexperienced over the 10,000 metres. Yeah, I mean, we know she's tough, otherwise she wouldn't have won that brutal World Cross in Aarhus at the end of March. But could she be feeling tired here? Or do you think the longer this goes on, the more this steady pace plays into the hands of the defending champion? Yeah, I think the steady um, pace really, really helps her. I remember actually when she won the um, 2017 World Championships and she ran a 60.4 seconds for the last 400 metres. So the pace is nice and slow. Yes, yeah, she's a strong athlete. She went over that cross-country course and she, you know, won it on that occasion. But I think if the pace is quite slow, she can use her speed. I was surprised that she cho chose to do the 10,000 metres, actually, the way the timetable went. But obviously, you know, Helen O'Beary must know how her training's going. But she's put herself back in contention now in the more favoured 5,000 metres. I hope the atmosphere is coming across back home. It's so loud here in the stadium. The chanting is non-stop. It's like a football terrace here in the Khalifa International Stadium. As Obiri just begins to spread this out just a little bit. I think there's a bit of an injection of pace coming here. Obiri leads with Kaiwa Faisa. World Junior Cross Country silver medalist two years ago. She's in second with her compatriot Gemachu, the African Games champion over 10,000 metres coming past. Kloster Halfen's in fourth. The two Kenyans coming through. It looks like it's Kip Kemoy in fifth place, the Commonwealth silver medalist from last year. And all of a sudden, after Ailish McColgan leading, we go. Kenya one, Ethiopia two, Germany three. That's the second group. You're watching uh, Scott there and Puria. Abiri leads. Kloster Halfen is right there. There are little groups splintering all around the track. And at the moment, it's the defending champion, the reigning world cross country champion, who is bossing the pace here. But there are plenty hanging on to her coattails, quite happy for her to set the agenda, as long as it's not too fast, and they look quite comfortable, the athletes, through second to sixth behind her. Yeah, they do. We can just see now Ailish McColgan struggling a little bit at the back of that group. Laura Waitman's doing her best just to hang on. Laura Waitman moving up from the 1,500 metres. She's made two Olympic finals over the 1,500 metres. Very inexperienced at the 5,000. I think you're looking at an event like the 1,500 metres that we've just seen, and a lot of these athletes have obviously you know, opted for different distances. A group of six away now in this final of the women's 5,000 metres. It's Helena Beery. Kloster Halfen, this brilliant German. That left arm just kinks out. It's one of her idiosyncrasies, but she's very quick and very strong. She's in second with the two Ethiopians, Kip Kemoy and Rengaruk, behind her. And two Ethiopians just about hanging on, Gemachu and Werku. Faisa, the world junior cross-country silver medalist from two years ago, has been passed. She's in a little group of four, which contains Laura Waitman, who's running well, and Elise McColgan. Coming round now with four laps to go in the final of the women's 5,000 metres, and Kloster Halfen has just given Abiri a little shove in the back. Maybe, and she's done it again. That's the second group Laura Waitman, Elise McColgan, Schweitzer, the American who set a huge PB, breaking 15 minutes for the first time to make it through. These are the athletes in seventh through to tenth. The top six are round the bend. And I tell you what, Laura Waitman is beginning to close that gap, and maybe that's why Klosterhalfen just gave Helena Beery, the defending champion, a little nudge, because she's aware that that group, that second group, are working very well together. 
Yeah, Kloster Hyphen just had a look, didn't she? I think she wasn't necessarily concerned about the breakaway group of six, but I think she just wants this pace to carry on. The Beery's been at the front right from the beginning. She shared a little bit of the early pace with Ailish McColgan, but she's just put herself at the front. I'm just watching this. She has run six seconds faster than Kloster Harfen, and she's actually ran 11 seconds faster than Kit Boy. But, you know, when you put yourself to the front in a race of so many laps, it does drain you. In cycling, they talk about the drafting technique, and it is a long time to be at the front in these races. This is good to see a German, two Britons and an American battling for the top ten. Determined to try and live with the pace of the mercurial East Africans separated by the vast, gorgeous Rift Valley. A rivalry that plays out year after year on the global stage. Kenya against Ethiopia, but this time, tonight, there's a third nation in the mix for the medals. It's Constance Klosterhaufen, the European indoor silver medalist over the 1500 metres, a world junior bronze medalist three years ago. She's trying to do something no woman from her country has ever done before and win a world championship medal over the 5000 metres. She's still in it, she's still got a chance, but six into three doesn't grow and sometimes this sport can be so, so cruel. Surely there has to be a move soon. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the pace there at 4,000 metres. It looks like these women are operating around about 14 minutes 40. Of course, Obiri, that's well within her comfort zone, but this is the reason why we're only down to six athletes now. And they're pulling away from that second group. It's Schweitzer of America leading those chasers with Faiza and the two Britons. This is the battle for bronze, silver and gold. Kenyans in the crowd, getting behind their athletes. It's going to be a really intriguing last 600 metres. It is, and everyone's positioned, aren't they? And I think we're just going to see a burn up of this last lap. Everyone will know each other's strengths and each other's weaknesses, and it's just who's going to go first. Really, really intriguing. 500 metres to go now in this World Championship 5,000 metre final. Fantu Werku, six in the world indoors last year, is beginning to lose touch. And so too is the other Ethiopian, Gemachu, just holding on. What a burn up in prospect. They take the bell in this fascinating final of the women's 5,000 metres. Now the two Ethiopians have been dropped. It's Helena Beery, the defending champion, with Margaret Kipkemoy on the curve holding the inside line, but look at Klosterhaufen, the German. She's working so hard in second place to produce a special moment for her nation, and she still isn't broken yet. Obiri sprinting, but they haven't become detached. Obiri, Klosterhaufen, Kip Kemboy. What a race, what a finish. Just when you think Doha can't deliver any more, it comes back and surprises you again. Helen Obiri is pulling away. She's the defending champion, but she's tiring. Kip Kemboy's trying to close. Klosterhaufen's going to settle for the bronze. But look at Helena Beery, the world cross-country champion, defends her 5,000-metre crown in style. Kip Kemboy gets the silver, as she did in the Commonwealth last year. And it is, at last, a medal for a German woman in the 5,000 metres. Constance Klosterhaufen crosses the line in third. A wonderful finish from a great, great champion. Helen O'Beary showed such heart and such determination there. She was forced to work so hard over the last 150. She was not to be denied another glorious, glorious gold. She's so strong and just never, never knows when she's beaten. Obiri reigns supreme once again. She does, and I don't know how she's got the energy to jump around after that. I alluded to last time, two years ago, it took a 60.4 second last lap. That one here this evening was 58.5.
so no wonder that others couldn't live with her. I'd be pleased with 58.5 seconds on a second lap of an 800 meters. What we've just seen there, the strength in depth and just the sheer guts. This was a woman who just wouldn't be told no. She wanted it more than anybody else. And just that execution over the last three laps. She had such an excessive arm movement. She was working so hard. What a finish. I am so pleased for Constance Kloster-Halfen because it's not true that Europeans and Western athletes can't live with the East Africans. Yes, there's great passion there. Yes, there's great heart. But what underlines great Kenyan performances, which is hard work, determination, and a passion for the sport, can also sometimes underline great European performances. And Klosterhalfen's proved that tonight with a brilliant bronze, making history for Germany. She has. She followed the pace, didn't she? Abiri went out, she settled them all. But she's worked so, so hard as Coco Klosterhalfen. She's moved her whole life over to America. She's had to really bed in, get used to the training. She's found it really difficult. But when you produce performances like this on the big stage, it makes it all worthwhile. This was the moment now where the second pack formed. Ibiri still surging at the front, relentless almost. A little bit of a trip, almost a fall there between the gold and the bronze medalists. But it was at 400 meter stage, wasn't it? Helen Ibiri would not give up that inside lane. Of course, you run less distance if you can stick to the curve. And she just really, really worked those arms. Oh, it was just a great surge. She again surged at 300 metres. She had a look round. No, there's still people there. I'm going to have to go again. But it was at this point with 100 metres to go that she just put her head down. All those moments, all those months of training, she's working there. She's hurting. Her legs are dropping. She's feeling really heavy. But then it's just the realisation. She's done it. She's defended that title. I've just counted, Jenny, 11 personal bests in that 5,000 metre final, along with a massive championship record from Helena Beery. Yet another unbelievable race here in Doha. Wherever you're watching this in the world, and I know we've got people tuning in live across Africa and across <laughs> the Americas, we hope you're enjoying this festival of distance running, of throwing, of heart, of great sprinters. This is a truly global sport that requires virtually no money, just the belief, the desire, and a patch of ground. If there's a local athletics club near you and you've been inspired by what you've seen and hopefully enjoyed over the last few days, go and sign up. Have a go at all the events and see where your passion takes you. An amazing night once again. Helen Aviri successfully defends her title with a championship record. Kip Kenboy the silver with a PB and Klosterhalfen a slice of history for Germany with the bronze. Two British women in the top ten and even more personal bests. Elena Puria inside 15 minutes. So too Buscom, so too the Canadian Sekafi. What a night in Doha.